Let's have a look at this exercise uh, on the surface grinding. A company manufactures impellers for use in jet turbine engines. One of the operations involves grinding a particular surface finish on a titanium, uh, titanium alloy component. So two different grinding process can be used. And both processes can produce parts at identical mean surface roughness. So the manufacturing engineer would like to select the process having the least variability in surface roughness. So a random sample uh, of M1, that is uh, 11 parts from the first, uh, first process. So this is the first sample size, 11 parts. And the sample standard deviation is uh, 5.1 micro, inch, micro inches. And this is N2. So that's 16 parts from the second process. This is a sample of standard deviation, 4.7 micro inches. Let's find the 90% confidence interval on the ratio of two standard deviations. Okay. Now, this is a comparison of two population variances. Previously, when we talk about the problem, we only have one sample. Now we got two different grinding processes. And we want to find out uh, sigma 1 over sigma 2. So from the class, we know the equation to compute the ratio, the confidence interval on the ratio of two variances are as follows. So sigma 1 squared over sigma 2 squared, which is less than S1 squared over S2 squared, then you have F alpha over two, and uh, this is N2 minus one, and then N1 minus one, and greater than S1 square over S2 square. And in this side, you have F1 minus alpha over two, and then you have n2 minus 1 and then n1 minus 1. Okay. Now, what is n1? n1 equals to 11 and n2 equals to 16. So we need to, uh, so alpha 100. 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval. So now we got 90% confidence interval. So alpha equals to 0.1 and alpha over two will equals to 0.05. Now we needed, a, we needed this term. This term will become F 0.95 and N2, N2 is uh, 16 mi minus one, then this will be 15 and and one is 11, so this will be 10. However, this term, let's look at this term. This term will become F 0.05 and also 15 and 10. Let's find these two number first. And we know S1 square. S1 equals to 5.1 and S2 equals to 4.7. So what is this value F distribution? And uh, let's go back to the F table. Where is the F table? F distribution. So it's uh, 15, the first one. Let's look at the first one, 15, 10. So it will be, we won 15, and do we have 15 here? Oh yes, 15, 10, 15 and 10, it's 2.85. So this is for 0 0.05 and 15 and 10 is 2.85. We go back, this will be 2.85 and 0.95, uh, 
this one we couldn't find 0.95 do we have 0.95 table let's look down so this is uh 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.01 so we don't have 0.95 table but we, based on the theorem we know that uh f this one actually equals to uh remember we have a theorem that is uh f one minus alpha u v equals to one over f alpha v and u so f 0.95 this should equals to one over f 0.05 right and then this should switch this two should switch so this should be 10 and 15 so 10 and 15 so this will equals to one over let's find out 10 15.05 10 15 10 15 so 0 0.05, 10, 15. So this is 10. And this is 15. This will be 2.54. Okay, so go this way. And this way is the intersection right here. If we go back. So this will be 2.54. And this value will be, uh, this will equals to point three nine so if we do this point three nine okay so in this way we get the s1 square s1 square is 5.1 square over 4.7 square then f1 minus alpha this is this point three nine less than sigma one square over sigma two square less than 5.1 square over 4.7 square and times 2.85. So sigma one square over sigma two square will less than, you know, uh, after the calculation, this part will be 1.887 square. This part will be point six seven eight square so because the question is asking us the ratio of two uh standard deviations so sigma one so not sigma one square over sigma two will be less than 1.887 greater than 0.678 so notice that this confidence interval this confidence interval okay Include one, so this this confidence interval does include one. Okay, so we cannot claim that the standard deviation of surface roughness for the two process are different. So because one is included, so sigma one over sigma two, if they equals to one, then we have sigma one. Is approximately sigma two, right? So if this is at the one range, so but one is part of this inside of this range. So we cannot claim that the standard deviation of surface roughness for the two processes are different at the ninety percent confidence uh, level of confidence. So this is the exercise for the confidence interval on the ratio of two variances or the ratio of two standard deviations.